what's up everybody joshua casper back at you with plug and boutique and today we're taking a look at comeback kid from baby audio this is a brand new effects plugin and i'm really digging it i've had a bunch of time with it and i've been really impressed with what comes out of this thing it's kind of like a delay effect with a bunch of other effects that you can affect that delay effect with, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do in this video is play you a few of the presets, it comes with 60 presets, and then I'm gonna walk you through each of the main sections. You've got five main sections, the shaper, stereo, flavor, output, and then the main kind of delay section. This is the sound by itself without any uh, comeback kit on it. Pretty good sound, but when I slap Comeback Kid on it with the Lots of Sauce preset. It just sounds so good. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and let this play and I'm gonna flip through some of these presets. I'm not gonna be able to do them all because there are 60, that's a lot. But I think I'm gonna go through enough to give you a general idea of what this is capable of. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so that's about 20 of the 60 presets there. And I hope you'll agree with me that they all sound really, really character rich. Some of them are very simple, just kind of like a reverb and a simple delay, and others are just like out of this world spacey effects, and they all bring a certain amount of character that is just next level. So let's walk through what is available in terms of controls on the comeback kit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to the output section. This is kind of a good place to start because I'm just gonna pull down the dry signal and we're just gonna hear the wet signal. So next to that, we also have a built-in ducker, which I think most plugins should have, especially reverb and delay plugins, but they don't all have it. And what this does is attenuates the affected signal when there's an incoming unaffected signal or the dry signal. And when I have the dry all the way down, uh, when the audio is ducked, that's when the uh, original signal is happening. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to pull down the dry pull up the ducking here. I just switched the preset and you'll also notice that you can actually change the different color scheme here and you can also make it bigger or smaller as well. So we have our feedback section and we can turn the delay on straight, dotted, triplet, or freeform. From there, I want to jump over to the shaper section. Here we have a low cut and high cut filter. With some really nice filter algorithms. Uh, and another really cool thing about the shaper is the attack and sustain. And this is actually a transient shaper for the delayed signal. So I've got kind of a nice attack on this synth, but if I wanted to, I could remove that attack and get kind of a more of a dreamy, you know, kind of state.
Isn't that cool? I've never really seen a transient shaper for a delay line in a plugin before. So, I mean, it's there and it actually comes in quite handy depending on what kind of delay line you're looking for. From there, we've got a stereo section. This just has to do with your panning. You can sum to mono. Wider and richer are somewhat similar. Wider is just gonna add kind of that stereotypical stereo width. And richer is gonna do something similar, but by doing small pitch fluctuations as opposed to time fluctuations. So those two in combination with each other are really, really powerful in terms of getting that stereo spread or the correct stereo spread that you're looking for. From there, we're gonna slide over to the flavor. And the reason why we still have a little bit of that kind of, you know, um, low fiification happening is because I didn't flip down the cheap knob. This is a one click kind of effect that engages an 11 bit signal path that introduces other artifacts to the sound quality and messes with pitch stability. So if I'm looking for a really clean sound, what I would do is make sure the flavors are all down here and make sure cheap is off. And there you can see we've got a much cleaner signal. That's automatically gonna kinda add that hiss to that sound. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Tape, kind of your standard tape effect. something like a saturation slash distortion tool. Swirl is gonna to continue to add this sort of analog feel to the signal. So it's gonna add a little bit of movement at lower, se uh, lower setting. So it's gonna add a little bit of movement at lower settings and something more like phasing at higher settings. Sauce is a reverb. And that's really all there is to it. But all of these parameters, when combined to varying degrees, you can get a really wide variation out of this. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and unsolo the track. I'm gonna let the drums and the bass line play and just continue to flip through some of these presets because I really want you to see the full range of what Comeback Kid is capable of. <laughs> Thank you. 